Good morning. I'm Lieutenant Benoit with the Harris County Sheriff's Office, the Scientific Traffic Division. At approximately 1.25 this morning, uh, Shenandoah Police Department up in Montgomery County observed a suspect running out of a pharmacy. Uh, he ran and jumped in the vehicle. The officer got in a pursuit after him. He struck the officer's car and continued to flee. Another officer got behind him and pursued him all the way to here to the Airtex Drive. Uh, the guy exited off at Airtex, lost control, ended up crashing out behind me here. The vehicle was occupied two times. It's two black males, approximately 30 years old. Uh, they were both transported to Houston Northwest. The passenger in critical but unknown condition at this time. The driver was uh, stable, currently been released to Shenandoah for charges. At this time, uh, we're not sure, but the vehicle appeared to be maybe stolen. It's unregistered as far as we know right now. Uh, those are the charges that we currently have in Harris County, of course, is work, working with traffic division. So most of the charges are ultimately going to probably fall in Montgomery County, correct? Yes, absolutely. M Montgomery County is following the charges. And it sounds like this, this suspect is likely facing multiple felonies? Uh, he is. He's facing felony charge and possibly burglary of a business, of uh, felony evading in a motor vehicle. And depending on whether or not this passenger lives, we may be following charges in Harris County for a murder charge in this accident. And but that's... At this time, everything is under investigation. And he could also be facing the ag assault with a deadly weapon on a police officer? Uh, that's possible in Montgomery County for striking that vehicle, yes sir. So, at this time, how, how long do you think it will be before you open up the feeder road? Uh, the road will probably be open in another 30 minutes. Uh, Center Point has went out there and turned all the electricity back on. With the exception of, uh, with the exception of this red light over here at Airtex, and as uh, soon as we get this car out of the way, they will evaluate that and get that restored. That that passenger was pinned for an extended period of time, correct? Uh, I'm not sure how long, but yeah, he was. Both of them was in the vehicle for at least maybe a, almost an hour until Center Point could turn the power back on. We couldn't attempt to take them out of there with that possibility. Hey, Kevin, you said something about murder charges. I missed that part. I'm well, sorry? You said something about murder charges that might be pending? What, what's that? I said, like? we're currently, it's still under investigation. Oh. Uh, both the victim uh, or the passenger and the driver was transported to East Northwest. If the passenger doesn't make it, Additional charges could be filed here in Harris County. Other than that, all charges, which are probably all felony, will be filed in Montgomery County. All right? Thank you. Tell me, there seems to be an uptick in chases recently. Is there any sound bite you can give us on? Yeah. Hey, the one thing we could convey to the general public, this is the holidays. We just passed Thanksgiving. Christmas is coming up on us. Uh, just pull over. You know, let the officer make contact with you. Nine times out of ten, it will be a simple citation. But if you flee, it's automatically a felony charge. And you're putting at risk not only all these innocent bystanders, citizens, and so forth, but your own life may be at risk. So, you know, please take heed. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir. All right, folks, this is Rizzi live here off of uh, 5 and Airtex. Be safe if you are out and about, folks. <clears throat> Pursuit. Two people taken to the hospital from the suspect vehicle. And uh looks like it was critical. So, yeah, this came out of uh, Montgomery County. Y'all be safe if you are out and about. This is part two. Like, we were explaining everything a little earlier i hope you guys were able to hear i'm gonna go ahead and sign out man i gotta get home because uh y'all it, it's almost close to my bedtime 
I'm feeling kind of groggy and stuff. I don't want to drink coffee because it's uh, I'm not going to sleep if I do. So, yeah, reporting live here off of Airtex and 45, folks. It's your girl, Grizzy. Pursue ended in this crash. We had center point out here about two hours ago or so. And uh, now we've got a uh, tow trucking company, Milstead, on the scene. They're going to remove this vehicle. That's the car right there. Just depending on what happens, somebody's life's about to change with all those charges, man. The passenger doesn't make it. And just it's just sad, man. Just sad. Just pull over, man. You're not gonna you're not gonna win, man. Pull over. Yeah, I'm about to go to sleep, friends. Man, prayers going up. Be careful who you ride with, man. That's the other warning. Be careful who you ride with. We've been seeing a lot of that lately. Innocent people in the cars of these guys that they, they don't stop. They keep going. And, and man, just be careful, man, who, who you get in the car with. Because if they're not okay, there's no guarantee that they're going to care enough to, for your safety, man. It's so sad. I, I feel really bad for that passenger. And we saw something like this similar this past weekend as well off of Veterans Memorial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, for those that are going to be commuting to work and coming into town uh, from uh, outskirts, uh, 45 heading towards downtown. This should be cleared up in about 30 minutes. Tow truck is already here to work on it. And so, yeah, you, this won't affect your morning commute if you... Uh, go around five o'clock if you head out around five so about 30 more minutes this will be cleared out completely reporting live here off of 45 and air texas your girl grizzy back to you friends y'all be safe see if i can get that footage